Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to learn how to apply the space element of art in your drawing using the concept of horizon line. So horizon line is basically just a line that would separate your sky from your land or water. So let's get started. So in my this project, I'm going to use some black construction paper and my drawing paper is going to be just white. I'm going to be painting this using watercolors and on this using this black paper on this black paper, I am going to create three sailboats, different sizes. So one is going to be the largest, then there's going to be a medium one and a smallest one. And then I am going to draw it using my white crayon or white color pencil and then I am going to cut it out. So let's see how this goes. I am going to draw the sailboat really simple and it's just going to be like an outline, not much details. That's it. So this is my biggest one. Then I'm going to draw a medium size. And then really small one. Okay, so now I have three sailboats and now I'm going to use my scissors to cut it out. Now that I have cut it out, this is how my boats look. So you can see that there are three different sizes. So I'm going to just set this aside for now because I'm going to glue this on after I have done my sunset painting on my drawing paper. Okay, so let's see how to do that. So the first step is to draw the horizon line that is just or horizontal line that goes across your space. So decide how much space you want for the sky and then it looks good if it is parallel to the sides so make sure that you try to do that. Okay so this is my so I'm thinking I'm going to do a sunset so let me put a sun somewhere. So I'm going to put it very close to the horizon line. So I've drawn it very lightly. And this can be a far off. And there we are. So that's it. So I'm going to keep it very simple and I will paint it now.
is how the painting looks right now after it has dried. So what I'm going to do next is to place my sailboats. So you can find an interesting spot for each one of this, but just make sure that the biggest one is going to be farthest away from this. So it's going to be close to the bottom. And as you go smaller, it's going to be... So instead of placing it like this, I'm going to put it like this. So like half of it is above the horizon line. And then maybe a third one, which is the medium size, can go here. So let's use our glue stick to stick it on. After sticking it on, this is how it's going to look like. Now optionally, I can use an oil pastel or a crayon to kind of draw some. Now wait for it. So make sure that the painting is totally dry and then do it. You can add some shadow under the wall like this. how it looks and then if you want on these the one in the front you can add more details onto the sailboat because something that's in nearby you will be able to see more details on it so let's try to do that using a marker so using a marker I'm going to just add in maybe a little that again before doing all this make sure that the background drawing is really dry otherwise it might spoil your paper so i'm going to use my sharpie to sharpen the trees i'm not going to do that to the shadow just on the tree i'm going to lightly it darker there you go yeah so this is how the completed picture looks and you can see that the one in the front has more details it's bigger and as you go further it goes smaller and you don't have to add so many details onto it so when you place on the horizon line it, to make it more interesting if you put it higher the higher it goes it means the farther away it is I hope you all enjoyed this lesson. See you next time. Bye-bye.